Do you want to talk about that real quick? Sure, let's do it. I want to talk about everything, Andy. I'm just excited to be back talking sports. Yeah, we have a big rundown, and uh, I don't know how we missed this, Joe, because I think this is when you were here. I'll actually, fuck it, let's just go into it. The NBA, who cares so much about human rights, is going to move the All-Star game next year from Charlotte. It's to, do we know? I don't know where they're moving it to. So that they decide to move it. Here's my issue. As far as the law is concerned, everybody should be protected. So I'm, I'm against any laws that do not protect somebody based on their sexual orientation. That's bullshit. You'd agree to. Yes. So I'm against any laws that don't protect somebody based on that. That's absurd. To me, the bathroom issue is completely separate. Yes. Right? Yes. So here's my issue with the NBA. I, we've already discussed the bathroom thing on this show. Exactly. And f- fine. Just take away men and women. Don't even have it be... Don't even have the pictures be a guy with pants on and a guy with a, and a, a, a figure with a skirt on. Put a cock on bathrooms and put an open pussy wound on bathroom doors. That's what I say. Pussy wound. Yeah, like just like just like, a, like a hatchet wound. Just the gash. Just show me the fucking straight gash. I want a girl spread eagle. Honestly, what, forget cutouts even. If your kid can't handle it, then your kid can't go to the bathroom. I want full high-res photos of cocks and vaginas on bathrooms. There is no gender issue. I don't care what gender you are. You got a cock, you go to this one. You got a pussy, go to this one. You could be a man with a pussy. You could be a girl with a cock. I don't care. You got a cock. You're gonna hold it. If you're gonna hold your penis while you take a piss, you go in the penis holder's bathroom. And if you're gonna fucking sit down and pull your pussy open. When you go to the bathroom, you're going to go on the pussy one. We break it up based on just genitalia. Where's the men's room? Actually, man, we don't have a men's room. We have a cox room. Uh, do you have a cock? Then go to the cox room. You know, we just we live in such a uber sensitive pussification society. And look, again, I don't care. Andy, actually, I'm actually offended by calling something that is weak a pussification society. I know many strong people with pussies. I'm just, I'm just. I so- mean, our next president's going to have a pussy. That's just, that's gonna be the most strongest person in the world. You mean pussification in America? You, I don't. Know, are you talking about Donald Trump? Because there's no way Hillary has a pussy. <laughs> Hillary has a big ass dick, <sighs> dude. I, I just Joe. My thing. I'm just so annoyed with with whether it's sports or politicians. Like you're saying, it's all fake. Oh, oh, we care about this. We care about that. No, you don't, Hillary. You don't care about it. Again, you you guys literally are in bed with terrorists in Saudi Arabia. It's the same shit. And I'm, there's no transparency. You guess on dirty politics sometime, Andy. But for now, we've got sports news to talk about. Trent Richardson yeah. cut again. Yeah. Dude, here's the thing about Trent Richardson, which the only reason I'm bringing it up is now this is his fourth team he's played for. He was obviously drafted by the Browns, then traded to the Colts, then he went to the Raiders who cut him, now the Ravens. So... At this point, he has played for 25% of the AFC teams. Yeah. Like, at what point is a psyche of you uh, as a person, like, like in, in the psyche, the psychology of you as a human being, at what point do you just say, maybe, maybe it's just not in the cards for me to be a professional NFL player? Well, if you're Trent Richardson, you keep going. You, te- you, you take every last chance. You know, if you're, I don't know. Let's let's if you're Ryan Fitzpatrick, for example, probably probably when, you know, his NFL career is over, he's going to be able to find something to do with the rest of his life with his Harvard degree. I'm not sure leaving Alabama early. Uh, Did he leave early? Who cares? Well, I mean, honestly, if you if you go th- if you if you go all the way through graduation at Alabama, what do you walk out with? You're basically walking out with one of those Denny's menus, like the paper menu, <laughs> your, the paper menu that's on the table when you leave. Like, it's like, hey, like, uh, did you just present me with a Denny's menu? Are you saying an Alabama degree is pointless and worthless, Prano? Completely worthless. You can work at Denny's. <laughs> like, like you literally don't need to know math to go to Alabama. Yeah, I'm not saying Alabama is just a football team. It's just a football team. Now that I think about it, though, I don't know if I've ever met anybody, and obviously we grew up not near the South, but I don't know if I've met anybody even still. Dude, I've lived all over the country. I don't think I've met anybody who went to Bama. Uh, My buddy's wife went to Bama. 
But now she's just his wife and baby mama. Actually, I do know somebody. My good friend from college, his little brother, went to uh, medical school at Bama. <laughs> so, somebody I don't want operating on me, I'll tell you that much. How many people do you think in Bama's medical school are like standing over a cadaver eating Chick-fil-A? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I dropped the ranch dressing in his heart again. Is oh. that going to affect this surgery? Man, again? this guy's stomach is just covered in hot sauce. Actually, that's blood, man. He... He's dying, man. That's blood. Well, let's talk about it real quick then. They just released the college football preseason rankings yep. from the coaches poll. Roll Tide. You know, I'll tell you what, man. If we ain't ranked number one preseason, then I'm giving, I'm taking all my money back that I donated to Nick Saban to give to the team. That's right, man. Roll Tide. I, I, didn't, I didn't pay for Trent Richardson to go to college so that he could be a bust in the NFL, and then we're just going to, oh, preseason? No, we got to win it all. Roll Tide. So, Bama is number one. I'll just do the top ten real quick. The Amway coaches pull. Because it can't, it can't just... By the way, it's whoever sold the most makeup to their friends at a party is, is the number one ranked team. The Amway coaches pull? What's Amway? I don't even know what that is. Amway is like, Amway is like a fucking pyramid scheme. It's like where you buy a... Where like you, you have like a... Um, you've got like a catalog and you go over to your friends' places. You're like... And you sell them all the shit and then you get a cut of it. It's like, oh, yeah, you don't know? Amway's got the best face products. So, number one is Alabama. Number two is Clemson, who they beat last year in the title game, for you guys who forgot. Number three is Number o- three, a year in and year out, Oklahoma, holding a three before they fall to 12 by the end of the season. Well, again, remember last year Oklahoma got smoked in, what was it, the Fiesta Bowl? Yeah. Uh, number four, Florida State. Number five, Ohio State. I refuse to say the Ohio State. Number six, LSU. Number seven, Stanford. Eight Michigan, nine Notre Dame, and ten Tennessee. You know that's um, obviously there's a lot of a uh, lot of the usual suspects there, but with the exception of Clemson, that's kind of like a classic poll. Like that is. A-